video will show you how to make a basic house in SketchUp. At the end it will look something like this. It will have windows, um, different colours and obviously the basic 3D shape of a house. Okay, the first step is to create a new SketchUp file. Uh, I'm going to use meters because that's easiest for me to think about the different sizes. Okay, first step, if you click on the lady and you can get rid of her. Okay, and then using the orbit tool, just get in a good position so you can see where you're going to put your house. So step one is to select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to just create a, a basic house. If you see the bottom corner, it's got the dimensions, but you can also type. I'm going to have 10, 10. So it'll be a 10 by 10 base house. So again, using the orbit tool just to get round so you can see the different parts. So my house as well will have a garage area for a car. So on the end point, I'm going to put on, I'm going to put where I roughly want the shape, and I'm going to have it. Three meters by four meters and press enter. Okay. So next step is just to make it easier for later, I'm going to use the eraser tool, get rid of this one line. And then just so I can see when I make it 3D, I'll move around on the 2D shape. Okay. Next step, I will use the push pull tool and make it 3D. So push pull up on it. And again, there's a distance in the corner. So while you're holding, if you put in the distance you want, I think roughly my house will have a ceiling height of three meters. There it is, and press enter. That's a three meter 3D shape. Okay, the next step is a bit tricky. If you rotate above, I'm gonna use the pencil tool. And this is to make the roof line quite simply. So if you go to the middle, you can see it says the midpoint, and it just goes onto there. So I'm going to click, and to get the middle here, it's difficult to find out where that is. But if you just hover your pencil line onto this midpoint, there it is. And then if you move your pencil along, it should give you a little dotted line where the midpoint is. And it shows you exactly where that would be to there. So I'm going to click there. And then from that line to the midpoint, you can see I've got a, just a 2D flat line on there. The next step, we will use the select tool. We're going to hold down the shift key to select both of the lines. And this step, so I'm going to go around. I will use the move tool, this one. And I'm just going to pull up, and you can see on the blue axis to where I want it to be. And the distance in the, is in the corner again. So when it's on the blue axis, I'm going to move up, and my roof's going to be about two meters. And press enter. There we go. And then using that skill, you can make the basic outline to your house. As you can see, it's hooked around. Okay, the next step is on my garage I want just a door that goes all the way through so I'm going to use the rectangle tool I'm roughly going to draw on you could use the tape measure just to make it accurate there we go and I'm going to use the push pull just to push all the way through there we go so now that line goes all the way through to the other side okay all right next step I'm going to add on something called an eave and the eave is just the little ledge that comes out over the roof so i'm just going to roughly again you can use the tape measure tool to make this accurate i'm going to move again using the midpoint and you can see it shows you on the screen where the other one is i'm just going to check to see if that's correct Again, you can see it's slightly off, so I'm just going to undo that. And this time I'm going to start from the top. So you can see the midpoint. You can even draw your line down. Move it to there. 
going to zoom out and use the pencil tool. And you can see it's joined up from the other side. Okay, and now that line I can just get rid of. And we can use the push pull tool just to bring this out a little bit. And it will have a distance of 0 0.15. Okay. Um, you could do that all the way around just to make it look a bit nicer. Um, I'm not going to show you in this tutorial, but you can see that's like a ledge to your building. Okay. Uh, next step, things like windows and doors, you can draw on with this tool. Again, think about the distance in the bottom corner. Yep. And this can be a a bathroom window. I'm going to come around to this side of the house and put on a patio door. So remember the ceiling would be there. So my patio might be about that big. And then this will be maybe the bedroom window. Okay. Um, so that's a basic outline. And then use the push pull tool just to push into the building. Uh, just a little bit so 0 0.11 and again you can type in those numbers if you wanted it to be perfectly accurate um, and i'll do that to all the windows you can add a few more there if you wanted to and the door just to pull it in a little bit just to see the texture okay now we're ready to put some paint on that so i'm going to start off with some bricks and you can put those on each side of your model. And we'll come around to this side. Okay, and next step, you've got ones like the roofing. So I'm gonna select this one. And again, put that on to all the steps. Okay, next area, you could also do, obviously, the bricks on the inside of here and the little areas on your eaves. You could put some different colours on to make it accurate. Okay, next step is you can go to the translucent and glass section. You've got window coverings if you want some blinds. Uh, you might have a wooden door. So let's have like glass and mirrors. and this one, and use the paint bucket just to fill this one and the patio door. Okay, so that's just a basic shape. Obviously, you can add more detail on with different windows, adding some more paint on there as well to make it accurate, and putting some more detail on the door. But those are the basic steps to get the, the shape and some small detail onto your project.